Hey guys, this is Ferdantis and welcome to my XCOM Chimera Squad Character Guide. This time we'll be talking about the underrated agent, Shelter the Scion. Unlike many other agents, Shelter begins with only one basic ability. Relocate is Shelter's starting ability. It's used to swap positions with enemy or ally, and it can be used to trigger friendly overwatch. It has a one turn cooldown, it costs one action, and it does not end turn. Dazzle is a breach action ability. It disorients enemy in an area for one turn, it does not deal any damage, and it has only one use per mission. Temporal Shift upgrades relocate to delay the next turn of a targeted enemy. Delays targeted enemy's turn by 3 and does not affect relocated ally units. Distortion Field upgrades relocate to buff both shelter and relocated ally units for 50 defense. The buff lasts until the unit's next turn and it does not affect relocated enemy units. Soulfire deals 4 guaranteed damage, ignores cover and armor, and it delays target enemy's turn by 3. It has a 2 turn cooldown, costs 1 action, and it ends turns. Choices. Solace is an aura around shelter that extinguishes or blocks any mental debuff on himself or surrounding ally units on contact. Give you something to think about. Soulstorm upgrades Soulfire for half of the damage dealt. Postponing target. Fracture creates a psionic clone that can use Shelter's abilities and their effects. It has 1 tile range around Shelter, it costs 1 action, it does not end turn, and it has only 1 use per mission. The psionic clone cannot use any weapon or items. It copies Shelter's abilities but not their upgraded effect. While the clone's HP is only 60% of Shelter's, it copies the effect of armor parts equipped on Shelter. The clone's Soulfire ability has a 1 turn cooldown, and the clone always acts on the same turn as Shelter. As with other agents, Shelter can train 3 abilities. Basic Conditioning for 2 HP, Unlock Potential for 2 Mobility, and Right, an active ability. Right, trained HP from a melee target. It deals 3 to 4 damage and heals 100% of damage dealt. It has a 2 turn cooldown, it costs 1 action, and it ends turn. Right cannot be used on full HP. That is all for abilities, now let's discuss combat. Not much can be said about Shelter's early game. Relocate can be used to put enemy in flankable positions or to trigger allies overwatch on the relocated enemy. Dazzle's area of effect is quite large. In smaller rooms, using it will affect most if not all enemies. Temporal Shift versus Distortion Field determines Shelter's role in your squad, whether as offensive support or defensive support. Personally, I find better value in Temporal Shift as delaying enemy's turn is a powerful move. Soulfire should be used mainly to delay enemy's turn or secure kills on high priority armored threats. Solus is situational as there are only a handful of enemies that rely on causing mental debuff, whereas Soulstorm heals for 50% damage of Soulfire, which will always help with survivability. Fracture is a great power. The Psionic clone retains all of Shelter's Psionic abilities, which means you can delay enemies' turn up to 3 times in one turn using Shelter's Relocate and 2 Soulfire. All in all, Shelter is a great addition to your squad as he allows you to take down enemies before they can act by controlling the timeline. That is all for this guide. Do let me know in the comments if I miss anything. I hope this was useful for you guys. The next one will be about Tor. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This is Ferdantis signing out.